Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing a video for you guys. Um, this is a focus that we're going to do, a series that we had um, promised you guys. For those of you guys that are interested in the um, learning, the interpretation of the cards, for those of you guys that are wanting to learn the tarot, this is specifically for you guys. Now, can other practitioners or people that have been practicing and reading the cards for years learn from this? I hope. Ultimately, it is always important um, to learn as much as we possibly can. And I am very aware that sometimes, you know, for us, we had to kind of learn to read the cards the old school way. Uh, now we have, you know, beautiful means like this YouTube channel uh, to be able to pass down information and knowledge that has been gained through years of experience. I hope that this can serve not only those that are interested in learning the interpretation of the cards, but for those of you guys that have been practicing, perhaps uh, this will give you a different perspective. Perhaps you'll learn something. Perhaps uh, you won't. Um, the ultimate goal here is to provide information and to make it easier for you guys to learn. So this is, I'm going to try the best I can to stick to a routine of uploading for you guys every Monday, uh, every Sunday and every Monday, um, a, a card um, with the interpretation uh, the planets connected to it, the signs connected to it, etc. I'm um, going to try the best I can to compress as much information in a video for each one of the cards. Yes, we're going to go through all 78 cards of the tarot. So this, for now, is a video uh, giving you guys insight to what we can, what you can expect, right? Um, what is the tarot? For those of you guys that are new to this, it is a deck of 78 cards that is uh, made from 22 major arcanas or 22 uh, major trumps and the rest uh, of the cards are minor. Um, the major have a stronger impact in our life. It is sometimes what is outside of our control. It is the universe, it is the lessons, and the minor arcanas are the everyday life, the routine, the work, relationships, family, etc. Um, the tarot cards come uh, from many different pa practices, many different backgrounds. Um, ultimately, what it is is 78 cards that depict specific imagery that speaks to um, the experience, the lesson, uh, the challenges, the blessings that one experiences in life. And it is used not only to get clarification, not only to get guidance, but to get answers that uh, sometimes we have difficulty tapping into ourselves and being able to separate the ego from the spiritual. Uh, this is a very important tool in the practice. It is a form of divination. Um, whether you are religious, whether you are uh, spiritual, whatever your belief system is, and trust me, I've been doing this for quite a while, um, it is always exciting and it is always a experience for sure. For those that seek out the tarot for the very first time, as well as for those that um, come to get spiritual guidance from the tarot cards. Um, so what does the, you know, what is the tarot in itself? Like I said, it is a deck that is com composed, sorry, not compromised, that is composed of 78 cards. Um, and the best way of describing it is, for those of you guys that have been uh, practicing or that have been um, learning about the cards, I'm sure you've heard of the Fool's Journey. 
um, and this is something that is very known in the practice, that's the best way of describing it to me. Um, I think I can definitely agree uh, with Crowley when he says that, uh, in essence, there are not really 22 trumps. Uh, there is only one, and that is of the fool. Um, all the other trumps live inside and issue from the fool uh, in the major arcana. Of all 78 tarot cards, uh, none is more mm, powerful and none is more uh, as well as misunderstood uh, in the tarot than that of the full card, which is the first uh, and the zero in, um, in the deck. Um, so the best way of understanding whenever you're going to uh, learn about the tarot cards, just understand um, the way to view it is as if us here on earth are, we're the full. And it is a journey of lessons. It is a journey of experiences. It is a journey of blessings, achievements, as well as, um, you know, uh, painful experiences, as well as uh, failures, uh, getting from, you know, starting from the birth point all the way to the, the, uh, the world card, which is the last card in the uh, major arcana, which is that of, you know, self-actualization, the achievement, the growth, the wisdom. Um, so from the full all the way to the world card, it is us taking on the journey, uh, being or being portrayed as the full. And every other major arcana that follows is an experience. It is a lesson. It is um, what we go through in life. So that's the best way of describing it. Um, because it is a journey, it is a, you know, like I said, a process of experience, um, some more painful than others, some achievements, success, um, others, you know, heartbreak and learning. Um, so that's the best way of understanding and connecting with your cards on a deeper level. It's viewing yourself as you know the full like i said the time of birth all the way through uh, the world which is getting to the point of conclusion getting to the point of ascension um so again i hope that this gives you some type of clarity into the journey that we are about to get into it's going to be a bumpy ride um sometimes it may seem a bit um overwhelming which is why I'm going to dedicate a video to each single card. But <clears throat> on a grander scale of things, I want you guys not to separate the cards, but to understand that with the tarot, all cards are connected. They are intertwined together. Um, and through this process of understanding that there is no one card that stands alone, but that it is a web that is intertwined with each other, you know, the card that follows or the card that is before that one card, it, it, it's all a connection. And, and, and the, like I said, in, on the grander scale of things, that's life. We are all connected. We are not different from one another. Um, no matter how much the media, no matter how much society wants to uh, highlight our differences, we are all intertwined. We are all connected through spirit and through consciousness. And what we do now affects, you know, down the road, just like if you do something uh, out of the kindness of your heart, it will soon echo back to you etc etc it's a never-ending cycle and that is what the tarot cards are 
It is us going through those lessons and those experiences, understanding that we are all connected, that we are all one, that we are the full as well as the world. We are in between and everything that is in connection with humanity, with consciousness, with spirituality, that is what we are. And I hope that this understanding is very clear in your mind when learning the tarot cards because it will make it that much more easier. It will all make sense in the end. Uh, like I said, uh, these videos are going to, uh, I'm going to try to upload every Sunday and Monday uh, a video per card. It, we're going to go through all 78 and those videos shall remain on my channel so that whenever you feel overwhelmed or whenever you feel like uh, you need to kind of refresh your memory, they will be there to help you, to guide you. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can continue um, supporting our channel for the growth of the channel as well as uh, giving me or getting me more motivated uh, to make these videos for you all. As you guys know, it is time consuming from our busy schedule, but it's something I promise you guys and I am definitely going to deliver. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, I hope that uh, it brings, you know, the best out of you and it gives you the best information you can possibly get. And uh, yeah, so you guys definitely stay tuned and we'll see each other soon. Bye.